Hello everyone. This video is going to dive deeper into the journal entries associated with our prepayment as well as our invoices. So let's jump in and create a quote. Got our customer here and then I'm going to add in our product. I'm going to save the quote and then from in the back end I'm going to confirm it myself. Now that the quote is confirmed we can create our invoice and we'll specify the down payment amount. Now that the invoice is created, we can see that it's uh, in draft mode. It's, going, it's in the draft stage. We can confirm the draft and make it a posted invoice. So now it's live. And we see here that it used the prepayment. I put in parentheses um, on the service that it's a liability and it's specifying the down payment of 50%, and it's hitting the current liabilities account. Uh, if I go to our journal items, we can see here the different accounts that it's hitting. So it's uh, the current liability because we haven't completed the service yet, uh, and we're still liable to complete that. We can't um, mark it as a revenue. And we're also going to have our accounts receivable for the total, and then here's the account for our tax that we collected. So we're gonna also go into accounting and we'll be able to see uh, in our general ledger the different accounts that were hit. So we see here for accounts receivable, we have that debit for 57, current liabilities, uh, the $50, tax receivable, the 750. So it all balances out um, and we see our debits and credits equal here uh, in the ledger. And then we can break down and click into these. So if we wanted to see, for example, this accounts receivable, we can click into it. And then you can see the invoices associated in the amounts. And there's also other uh, fields you can see uh, in sp specifying what you want to see on this view. So we're going to go back and create the next invoice. Once our product is delivered, So this is the sales order we see here. We can click on it and we can deliver our product. So now we see in this column here under delivered that the test product has now been delivered. Since it's delivered, we can create our next invoice. And if we see under orders to invoice, it will show that sales order three. We can create the invoice for the uh, amount due and it will deduct the down payment that we collected beforehand. So for example, when we create and view this invoice, we see here we have the draft and it is deducting that down payment that we collected from current liabilities. I'm going to confirm it from the draft. And it's now the posted invoice. And we can see here all the accounts that are being hit. So now it's uh, debiting our current liabilities. So we no longer have that liability. And then we also are crediting for the total amount that we uh, collected with that. And then we also for this is our revenue account, I should say, for the product sales. That's our revenue account. Uh, and then we have our uh, expense account for taxes. So that's going to be a credit as well. Um, and then we have our current liabilities uh, being debited. So it, it cancels out the, the previous entry. And then we have our accounts receivable here for the uh, amount that we will be collecting uh, with this second invoice. So, so now we're going to go to our accounting and look at those entries as well in our uh, ledger. So we see here for current liabilities, they were now canceled out. We see the other amount for the second invoice uh, added to our accounts receivable. Uh, and then we see that we uh, collected the revenue since we delivered the product for, um, for our deliverable. 